this is medwits and this video is about the life cycle of malarial parasite let's see the classification of malarial parasite it belongs to the phylum epicomplexa class sporozoa order hemosporidia and the genus plasmodium now let's see the types of malarial parasite it is plasmodium vivax causing benign tertian malaria plasmodium malaria causing benign quartal malaria plasmodium falciparum causing malignant tertian malaria and plasmodium ovale causing benign tertian malaria there are mainly four types now let's see the life cycle of malarial parasite the life cycle of malarial parasite takes place in two host one the humans and the other the mosquito which is the female anopheles mosquito the humans are the intermediate host and mosquitoes the definitive host since there are two host obviously there will be two phases in the life cycle of malarial parasite these are the asexual phase which takes place in the intermediate host that is the humans and the sexual phase that takes place in the definitive host the mosquitoes the humans are the intermediate host and so asexual reproduction takes place in them asexual reproduction means just multiplication that is there is splitting to form generations splitting is known as schizo and generations as gom and together we call this process as schizogony and schizogony results in the formation of merozoites these merozoites then develop into male and female gametocytes within the human body moving on to the mosquito we know that mosquitoes are the definitive host and so sexual reproduction takes place in them sexual reproduction means fertilization of gametes this process is known as sporogony sporogony produces sporozoites thus in the life cycle of malarial parasite there is alternation of generation with an alternation of host that is it completes its life cycle in two separate host as two generations that is merozoites and sporozoites now let's see in detail about the human cycle the human cycle consists of erythrocytic cycle that is what takes place inside the rbcs it contains erythrocytic schizogony and erythrocytic gametogony the other cycle is exoerythrocytic cycle the one which takes place outside the erythrocyte it consists of pre erythrocytic schizogony which takes place in the liver and exoerythrocytic schizogony which produces the hypnozoites hypnozoites are nothing but the inactive form of the sporozoid which can get reactivated we know that the mosquito contains sporozoids when the mosquito bites a human being it injects the sporozoids into the body of the human being the sporozoid initially reaches the liver it then starts infecting the hepatocytes by the time it infects the hepatocytes it changes its shape from spindle to rounded shape it infects the hepatocytes and pushes the nucleus of hepatocyte to one corner the nucleus of the sporozoid then multiplies all these nuclei then develops 
a cytoplasm around them. The resultant structure is called the schizont. Each individual cell inside the schizont is the merozoite. The schizont then breaks and releases the merozoite. The merozoites are released into the bloodstream where they come in contact with the circulating RBCs. These RBCs have special glycophorin receptors. The merozoites on the other hand have a tapering apex called the apical complex which attaches to the glycophorin receptor. The merozoid then invaginate the RBC and is now found in intraerythrocytic parasitophorous vacuum. In the erythrocyte, the merozoid loses its internal organs and appears as a rounded body having vacuole in the center with the cytoplasm pushed to the periphery and the nucleus at one pole. This resembles a ring and is thus called the ring form or young trophozoid. The parasite feeds on the hemoglobin of the erythrocyte. It does, it does not metabolize hemoglobin completely and therefore leaves behind a hematin globin pigment called the malaria pigment or hemozoin pigment. The appearance of malarial pigment varies in different species. So this is an identification feature of the type of malarial parasite. As the ring form develops, it enlarges in size, becoming irregular in shape called the amoeboid form or late trophozoid form. When the amoeboid form reaches a certain stage of development, its nucleus starts dividing by mitosis followed by a division of cytoplasm to become mature schizont. The mature schizont then bursts releasing the merozoids, hemozoin and pyrogens into circulation. These pyrogens so released are responsible for fever. The merozoids invade fresh erythrocytes within which they go through the same process of development. After a few erythrocytic cycles, some of the merozoids that infect RBCs do not proceed to become trophozoids or schizomes but instead develop sexually differentiated forms, the gametocytes. The male and the female gametocytes. The gametocytes are then taken up by the mosquitoes when they feed on the human blood. Now let's see the mosquito cycle. It is clear that the mosquito which had its blood meal contains RBCs with male and female gametocytes. The male and female gametocytes are then released into the midgut of the mosquito. The nuclear material and cytoplasm of the male gametocytes divides to produce eight microgametes with long, actively motile whip-like filaments or the ex-flagellating male gametocytes. It develops into the microgamete. The female gametocyte does not divide but undergo a process of maturation to form the female gamete or macrogamete. The male and female gametes then undergo fertilization to form the zygote. The zygote which is initially motionless round body gradually elongates and forms 
dimethyl ukinate ukinate then becomes the o cyst which is yet another multiplicatory phase within which numerous sporozoites are seen it then ruptures and the sporozoites are released This picture shows the summary of the life cycle of malarial parasite. Once the mosquito bites the human, it injects the sporozoids into the blood. These sporozoids reaches the liver, infects the hepatocytes, mature into schizons. These schizons breaks and release the merozoids. Merozoids start infecting the RBC. it can continue this infection or else it can get converted into the male and female gametocytes once the mosquito bites the human beings these gametocytes enters the body of mosquitoes it reaches the gut these gametes then develop into zygote zygote then forms the motile ukinate which reaches the salivary gland of the mosquito and the cycle repeats when the mosquito bites human beings now let's see the different types of malarial parasite first the plasmodium vivax it is of the widest geographical distribution and it causes the benign tertian malaria as you can see here the ring form is large occurs single with a prominent chromatin the amoebid form is irregular with amoebid motility and a prominent vacuole and inside the rbcs they are large and fills the rbcs completely the microgametocyte is uh, smaller than the macrogametocyte and its cytoplasm stains pale blue the nucleus is larger than the macrogametocyte and stains pale pink the macrogametocyte is larger than the microgametocyte cytoplasm and the nucleus stains dark but the nucleus is smaller than that of the microgametocyte plasmodium falciparum its name comes from sickle shape fax means sickle it is highly pathogenic of all plasmodia and is responsible for the malignant tertian malaria it does not contain hypnozoids and so there is no relapse of the fever the ring form is binucleate and it gives a particular stereo headphone arrangement inside the rbcs these ring forms are situated around the periphery and which gives rise to a particular e coli form the female gametocyte is crescent shaped and the male gametocyte is banana shaped the plasmodium malaria it causes benign quashen malaria the long persistence of the disease is due to persistence of erythrocytic forms and not due to hypnozoids there is no hypnozoid occurring in plasmodium malaria in the erythrocyte they form elongated to give rise to a band form Plasmodium ovale is the rarest of all plasmodia. The oval appearance of infected RBCs gives the name Plasmodium ovale. That's all about malaria parasite. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe.